So in a previous video on when I was talking about this Dell P3421 W monitor, which is my first time using an ultra wide, I was talking about um, you know the setup of the monitor in regards to the application on there and how I'm testing well at least one other one at the moment, a few more that I want to talk about later on, but the other thing that I first started using is fancy zones with the power toys because it's free. Um, you just go and search for it, you download it from GitHub and uh, install it. And I thought I'd just do a quick, very quick video just to show Fancy Zones in use. So here's Fancy Zones and at the moment I've got it set up so I've got two columns. So all you do is you hold the shift key on your keyboard and then when you move it you see the two zones come up and you can see which I want highlighted, that's where it's going to clip to. As you can see, there we go. So, very simple to use. And when you want to change it, you just go uh, into your power toys and the fancy zones, and then you launch the zone editor. And then you can see the different types of zones that you've got and how many columns you can add. You can add three columns, you can add obviously four, you can. Um, the grid one's quite interesting because obviously I can have a grid of four, so if I was to use that, I like this priority grid as well. Actually, this one is quite smart, so it means that I can, you know, if I want that as the priority, I can zip it there, I can zip it into one of the small ones, and it always auto sizes to the correct size, unlike uh, some of the tools I've used which don't seem to auto size, which is annoying because obviously. You wanted to go to the full size screen straight away. Um, at least I do. Um, so yeah, and obviously you can, clip, you can increase them, which is quite good. And obviously you can create your custom, which I've, I've not done. But I think um, yeah, I bring back down to two, and I choose my grid. Um, I think that uh, Fancy Zones, especially considering it's free, it's really quick and simple to use, and you can set it up how you want. And uh, yeah, it's actually quite not a bad tool. It's something I think that is pretty important um, in regards to using an ultra wide because it allows you to quickly pull pull screens and, and applications into um, into zones on the screen, so you can set it up without having to kind of have to resize it. You know, tiny inch here, tiny inch there, trying to trying to get it into that that little spot that you want it to. The other thing I didn't didn't say is you notice there's a little gap so I've actually got it set at the moment to be spaces of 16 right so you can actually also set that up and edit it to be very specific to how you want it I, I like having the space around because um, if I then have two screens open which I, I quite often do um, so I need to put it off first before I do that um, I like to have the little gap around so I can actually distinguish it from each other. I tend to maybe have um, IntelliJ open, to be fairly honest, which normally zips into this column here. There we go. So yeah, uh, I just thought I'd do this very, very quick video to, to say, you know, um, if you're new to an ultra wide, then Fancy Zones is a great starting point to set up. Catch you all later.